Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the southern desert, in the clearing west of Dust Devil Ridge, building a cathedral. This build was suggested by Playlist Namer on my Yamatai base build guide, so thanks for the suggestion, Playlist. This build is designed to be a religious hub, holding altars for all six gods of the exiled lands, excluding, of course, Krom. I decided to use the Treasures of Turan DLC to build this cathedral, as I thought it suited the style of this esteemed place of worship quite well. This cathedral is designed to be attached to existing bases, and can easily be integrated into many different styles of builds. Of course, as with most of my builds, the Terranian pieces can be replaced with any other material choice you see fit, and it should work quite well. I imagine this structure would work well with Yamatai or Frontier pieces especially, but it's all down to your personal preference. Aside from the DLC pieces, this build is completely mod free, and can easily be recreated in the base game. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly we are going to start off with the base plate. This build uses a 3 tier circular foundation in the centre, with a 3 tier circular foundation coming out of each set of double square foundations on the perimeter of the centre to create 6 circular foundations around the centre. As you can see by the blueprints, each extending circular foundation section will hold an altar, and there will be two entrances to this build on opposite sides of the centre base plate. Each altar is also raised one foundation higher than the lobby area of the cathedral, so I added stairs to access those. This was just mainly for a design choice, it doesn't necessarily have to be any higher, I just liked how it looked when it was. Next for the walls. I firstly placed doorways at each entrance of the build, using multiple doorways and walls to create a small buffer area. I next built up the walls of the altars and lobby, with the idea being that the lobby tower will be taller than all of the altars to have an interesting multi-height roof structure. I built the walls of the lobby 7 tiles high, with a ring of frames on the 6th tile.
I also took the time here to place down each altar to ensure that each altar room was tall enough to house the altars. As it was, I had to raise the walls by another tile, placing a ring of frames around the top of each altar room, making each of the rooms a total of four tiles high. Smaller altars like Yog, Daketo and such are fine, however it's the very large altars like Jebel Saga Nimir that proved to be the crux for having to raise the walls a bit higher. Next for the roofs. I started off with the altar rooms first, creating a standard circular roof. I had to place a ring of wedge ceilings underneath the wedge roof pieces, which I then placed walls onto to clip the inverted wedges onto, to fill the gaps between the wedges I placed first. Finally, atop each of the altar roofs, I placed a ring of fences to give some better visual reasoning to the light from the altars, as opposed to just having it clip through the roof. Next for the roof above the altar rooms near the entranceway. This is a slightly different construction due to the reduced size of this room to allow for the entranceway, so this construction model should be copied for each of the altars of reduced size. I firstly place ceilings above the reduced side of the room on the outside to create a circular base to start the roof from. I then filled in the gap between the walls and the roof on the inside reduced section, then continued on with the roof. You will have to use a pillar on the reduced side to support the final inverted wedge at the top of the roof, and then finally I placed fences around the top. I did this for all the roofs, with the first roof designed for the full circular altar rooms, and the second for the reduced size ones. Next for the lobby roof. This is a simple circular roof that continues up to a pointed apex. I did again have to use pillars to support this roof a little further up, but the roof is fairly forgiving in terms of structure limits, so the pillars aren't too intrusive and do end up fitting the lobby builds quite well. I've built plenty of these roofs before and they should be fairly familiar on this channel, but if you are struggling, just watch how I construct this roof and it should become clear. Finally, I placed pillars on the outside of the entranceway altar rooms for some visual support. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, the lights emanating from the altars fit this build really well and make the appearance of the cathedral from a distance appear quite grand.
Entering the lobby, this area is well lit and decorated, with fountains in the centre of the build and the high roof giving a sense of grandeur and elegance to this room. Each altar has its respective emissary outside, both guarding the altar and making sure worshippers within are looked after. Each god is represented well within the altar rooms, with a high priest leading the worship at each altar. The open air design of each altar roof helps to strengthen the feeling of connection with the gods, with the Turanian hanging lamps creating some interesting lighting within the room. Whilst each room is fairly unfurnished due to the size of the altar and the distinct lack of god-related decorations in the base game, each different area has its own distinct feeling due to the presence of the altar, with the difference between, for example, the Emir and Mitra rooms being quite different even though there is a lack of decoration aside from the altar. On its own this build is fairly plain, but you could see how this build could be elevated even more by simply attaching it to a pre-existing base. And there we have it, a cathedral in the exiled lands, in the clearing just west of Dust Devil Ridge. Thanks for watching, and again thanks to Playlist Namer for the suggestion, this definitely made for an interesting build. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord, both links for those are in the description. And if you'd like to support the future of this channel, the link to my Patreon is also in the description below, with various tiers and rewards including special Discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos, your name at the end of videos, and more. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Doomshade, and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on this channel. There are plenty more Code and Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you like what you see, subscribe and turn on post notifications to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. The support over the last month has been absolutely ridiculous. I've 
never had a better month on YouTube. So uh, hopefully you guys can keep that up this month. I have faith that you all can. Uh, and thank you so much for all the support lately. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.